Spider-Man. Here's my speech for the emergency meeting of the United Nations tonight. See that the Secretary of State gets a copy. Engine boosters to full power. Air Force One will soon be ours. some sort of force beam. This is Air Force One to Kennedy Tower. Mayday, mayday. Something's jamming our signals. Whew. Looks like I made it in time. And if I can get some good pictures of the president, I may be able to make a couple of extra bucks. Not to mention, prove to my sweet old publisher, J.J., that I can take decent shots of someone other than Spider-Man. Say, any word on when Air Force One is supposed to arrive? Haven't you heard? The President's jet is half an hour overdue. This could be the biggest story of the year. And it could be just the kind of story that needs Spider-Man to see that it has a happy ending. Hmm. Gotta move fast before someone sees me. Good old spider webbing. The next best thing to a clothes closet. I don't understand it. Air Force One ha has just disappeared. I it's off the radar screen. Last position was somewhere over Jersey City. Uh, better contact the White House. Hmm, whatever went wrong, the answer must be in Jersey City. Maybe Spidey can find the president, even though I didn't vote for him. It'll take too long to reach Jersey by web swinging. Maybe I can rent a plane around here. Can I help you, Sonny? The name's Wilbur Moses. This is my old-time air museum. Say, hey, that's a mighty fancy new astronaut suit you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, uh, say, Pop, any way I can hire a plane and pilot? Oh, you're in luck, mister. I'll fly you myself. That's luck? <laughs> you're darn right. I'm a World War I flying ace. Well, listen, I shot down 23 That's of the... great, but uh, how much? It's gonna cost you $20 an hour. 20 bucks? All I got is a dollar ninety-eight. That'll get you ten minutes. Come on, that'll give me time to finish the story. We're flying in that? You darn tootin'! What you expect, the Starship Enterprise? Well, at least I got a window seat. They'll never catch my blimp on radar with my anti-radar shield. Robot K-12, activate surgical computer. Once I've attached this remote mind implant, the President's thoughts will be under my control. Spider sense is tingling. That means danger's near. Wow, look at the size of that. It's some sort of a futuristic blimp. 
There's only one man I know who could create an overgrown balloon like that. Hey, Lindbergh! You gotta get me closer to that blimp! Whatever you say, Sonny! around here. I wonder what's behind this door. That'll teach me to open doors without knocking. You sure have a funny way of saying hello. Hey! You know something? If I didn't know better, I'd begin to think you don't want to be friends. I'll just use this pipe to... Uh-oh, you're no pipe. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Since you both feel like fighting, here, be my guest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta see a man about a plane. Aha! Wrong, Web Swinger. You're at the mercy of your deadliest enemy. Dr. Doom! Gosh, I wish I'd brought my autograph book. Your attempts at humor bore me, Spider-Man. Fortunately, I won't have to listen to them much longer. Right, Leadhead, because I'm going to stop you right here and now. You never learn, do you? Oh, boy! I'm beginning to think that armor-plated gargoyle doesn't like me. Well, at least the president is all right. Or is he? Hmm. I can't believe Dr. Doom would have hijacked the president's jet just for the fun of it. Well, while I'm trying to figure it out, I might as well get some exclusive photos. Now that the Prez is safe, old Spidey better split while he has the chance. Oh no, my clothes are gone. And I think I can guess what happened. Well, only one thing I can do. Other superheroes have ants who wait for them to come home at night. There, it is done. Now that the representative from South Africa has been mind programmed, all of the world leaders on Earth are under my control, except for the Secretary General of the United Nations. Once I take care of him, I will electronically control all of the minds of the entire UN Assembly. And when they meet tomorrow in special session, I, Dr. Doom, shall be voted Master of the World. My plan is foolproof, but just in case, this nuclear-powered flying robot will see to it that Spider-Man never bothers me again. Oh no, I'll never make it to the Daily Bugle in time for the morning deadline. And with my last dollar ninety-eight gone, I can't even afford a bus ride. Guess I'll just have to go by Spider-Man Express. Billy Bugle dead ahead. My spider line snapped. Now what do I do? I don't get it. My webbing is stronger than nylon. What could have cut it? Oh, there's the answer. 
Must be one of Dr. Doom's high-flying flunkies. Next time I want to get photos to the Bugle, I'll just mail them in. Hmm, just my luck. A robot with a force field. Now listen, pal, I'm sure you must be lonely, but this is no way to win friends. Come on, Spidey, you can do it! Whoa, good thing I took my vitamins this morning. My flying bucket of bolts took me by surprise. But my web shooter ought to rattle his rivets. Oh no, it's jammed. Come on, webby baby, do it. I've got to unstick this thing or they'll need an eraser to get me off the pavement. Did it. Hold on. Some people can't take no for an answer. Batter up! Doom should program his robots with better manners. He didn't even say goodbye. Hi, Betty. Oh, hi, Peter. Say, you're late. JJ's been asking about you. Listen, Betty, before he gets a chance to chew me out, I wonder if you'd give him these photos that I've taken of the, uh... Parker! You good for nothing excuse for a photographer. Where have you been? Uh, sorry, Mr. Jameson. I'm only an hour late. How would you like to buy some photos of the president? Forget it, Parker! My other photographers beat you to it. Oh, well, I guess that means you don't want these candid shots I took of the president just after his plane disappeared last night. Look, look. how'd you get those? Uh-uh, remember our bargain. I never reveal my photo secrets. And, uh, speaking of secrets, what in the world is that thing on the back of the president's neck? Give me those photos! Now we're even for you being late. Excuse me, Mr. Jameson. All our reporters are on assignment. We've got no one to cover that special session of the UN today. Say, why don't I cover it, Uncle Jonah? Now, that's a fine idea, Mortimer. I'm glad I thought of it. <laughs> I wish you could be more like my nephew here, Parker. He's attentive, obedient, on time. Not to mention freaky, funky, and flaky. All right, good. You cover the UN meeting, Mortimer, and take Parker with you. You'll need a photographer. Right, Uncle Jonah. Maybe I can teach him something about good reporting. Now, you keep your eyes open, Parker. When I tell you, start snapping. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am risking my life to tell you of a grave matter which faces all members of the United Nations. And, and so it is with, with great concern that I must warn you that at this very moment, there are among you... Uh, uh, <coughs> you must listen. <coughs> Many of the delegates among you <coughs> have, have had their minds taken over. <coughs> <coughs> what a story. <coughs> Start snapping, Parker. <coughs> Oh, only my super spider breath has kept me from passing out. They're abducting the Secretary General, and there's nothing I can do about it, as Peter Parker. Doom's blimp. Well, it figures he's behind all this. But I never thought he'd throw a party without inviting me. Right there, you walking erector sits. Smatter, you forget how to say hello? You were foolish to return to my ship. Haven't you learned your lessons, Spider-Man? 
Start with two plus two, and I'll give it another try. But where you are going, there are no jokes. For the Secretary General and myself, I have other plans. Bon voyage, Spider-Man. Thanks. I'll send you a postcard. Oh, great. As if things weren't bad enough. Look where this bag of hot air is headed. Remove the sleep gas. Parker? Parker! That chicken, he must have split. We shall now vote for a new world leader. I nominate Dr. Doom. All in favor, say aye. Aye! Oh, no. This is impossible. Dr. Doom is master of the world. If I don't do something soon, it'll be bye-bye, Spidey. If I can just shoot my web line and turn off that freeze ray... No way. I can't even turn my hand to point it in the right direction. Looks like curtains for my favorite web spinner. Web spinner? Hey, that's it. If I can fire a super hard wad of web fluid and punch a hole in the skin of this overgrown balloon, then the released air pressure will act as a jet. Blow the whole blimp away from Miss Liberty. Come on, Spidey Strength. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Score one for the old web slinger. Now to get back to Doc Doom. Now that I am the appointed leader of all seven of Earth's continents. That's what you think, Tinhead. You forgot about your friendly neighborhood web spinner. You apparently do not understand, Spider-Man. I am now master of the world. Look, I don't care if you're master of Melvin's supermarket. No! No! Stop, stop him! Stop him! Stop, stop, stop him! Stop, 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 stop him! Stop him! I don't get it. You weren't kidding. Correct, my web-headed friend. And there's nothing you can do about it. Guards, take this miserable traitor away. So, it's playtime again. Okay, guys, it takes two to tumble. This is Dr. Doom to Robot Leader G97. Bring the captured army to Mind Control Station 8. I should have figured it out before. Doom wasn't elected legally. He used one of his electronic gizmos to control the minds of the world leaders. That's what I saw on the president's neck in the photo I took of him. But now that I know, what am I going to do about it? With my camera stuck to the wall, I'll get some great pictures of my battle with Dr. Doom. That is, if I ever live to sell them to the Bugle. With the entire world at my command, the Empire of Doom shall reign on Earth forever. Oh, say it isn't so. I'd sure hate to see that ugly mug of yours in my history book. Spider-Man, you've disturbed me for the last time. Hey! Oh, boy. I just saw enough stars to pack the Academy Awards. Okay, the fun's over. It's time to put Plan A into effect. And it better work, because there isn't any Plan B. Robot Z 4 and 5, destroy Spider-Man. It's too late, Doomsy. Your robots are under my control now. Okay, kiddies, Spidey says, take care of your loudmouth leader. Get back, you mechanical misfits. You're mine. I made you. You've won this battle, Spider-Man. But you haven't heard the last of Doctor Doom. All right, 
playmates. It's time to remove those mind control gadgets. The biggest story in the Bugle's history, and we don't have any photographs. Where is that pissed Parker? I don't know, Uncle Jonah. Last I saw of him is when he deserted me at the UN. It was just when the action got a little rough. Did you call me, J.J.? Parker, you two-bit deserter! I ought to sue you for hightailing it out of the U.N. and leaving my nephew alone to face Spider-Man and that other maniac. Who said I left? I just hid. I figured Spider-Man would return to the scene and take care of Dr. Doom. But look at these. Get out your checkbook, J.J. These are worth a mint. Now that I have some bucks again, how about you and me, Betty? There's a great flick of the Bijou about a strange super guy from another planet who's allergic to green rocks. <laughs> Sounds great, Petey. It's for you, Parker. Peter, this is your Aunt May. It's getting late, dear. You better come home now. You need your sleep. There's school tomorrow. Don't forget.